In this session, we'll continue our discussion about how to choose the right words and phrases to send the best message, as well as how to avoid vocabulary danger zones and troublemakers. We may not always think certain vocabulary words and phrases are problematic, but our customers may. And by mastering these techniques, we'll ensure good communication and have callers who understand and accept our information more quickly. These fall into the yellow zone and should be avoided. So what do these sound like? These phrases all contain the words have to, need to, or must. Some of us hate being told what we have to do or what we need to do. We hated it as a kid and we still don't like it. We've all heard the saying, I only have to do two things in this life. Or perhaps a new one to some of you, I'd rather be out of control than under it. In other words, I won't let you control me. There's a definite attitude there. Heavy obligation phrases can sound bossy, burdensome, even parental, authoritative, and condescending. And aside from this reason, our customers are calling us for help, and now we are giving them a big old laundry list of things they have to do. We've given our customers an assignment. In reality, there are things that they have to do or need to do in order to get the help they want from us. For example, You'll have to submit the paperwork by Friday to qualify for the refund. Instead of using heavy obligation phrases, it's important to replace these with lighter alternatives. Here are some examples. Simply, go ahead and, you'll want to, the best, be sure to, please, it's very important to, or can I recommend or suggest something to you? These words and phrases remove the obligation and the burden from the caller. They make the action sound simple and easy. There are so many of these to choose from, and you can use your own personality and pick the ones that sound most comfortable for you. Instead of sounding bossy, burdensome, and parental to our callers, we ensure that the caller gets what they want by motivating them with these green zone words and phrases. Now let's practice. I'm going to give a heavy obligation phrase, and then we'll transform it using a lighter alternative. So here we go. Instead of, you need to hold off until next week's order to see if that item's in stock, a positive way to rephrase this would be, simply check back with us next week when you place your regular order, and we'll see if it's in stock. Now here's another one. Instead of, you need to bring in a copy of the document and you have to have it signed. A good solution would be, go ahead and bring in a copy of the document and be sure to have it signed. 